What an absolutely crazy day yesterday. We have the markets going up like crazy, both the stock market and the crypto markets. And we just heard Jerome Powell essentially confirm that there is going to be a rate cut in September at the next FOMC meeting. We're still unsure if it's going to be a 0.25 basis point cut or a 0.5 cut. But ultimately, he has confirmed that there is going to be a cut and we saw the impacts that that has had on the markets. Everything was green yesterday on Friday for both stocks and crypto. Now, if we take a look at what the FOMC predictions are for the 18th of September meeting, well, we have 63% of analysts thinking it's going to be a 0.25 basis cut. And we have 36.5% of the analysts saying it's going to be a 0.5 basis cut. But ultimately, if we take a look at the probabilities table, there is no longer a chance for no rate cuts to happen. It's 100% that we are going to get a rate cut. And as we can see, once this starts, well, we have basically rate cuts all throughout of 2025 and it's going to stabilize towards the end of 2025. And that is a massive win for crypto as well as for the stock market. And we saw essentially this happen on Friday yesterday where everything responded phenomenally well to Jerome Powell's speech. Now, if we take a look at crypto bubbles, well, as we can see, everything is up from every single narrative if we talk about gaming that is up if we talk about ai it's up deep in it's up memes it's up of course some sectors are doing better than others memes specifically are just blowing up and as well as crypto gaming both of these are doing very very well of course ai is in that mix as well but if we take a look at some of the analysts here of Erect Capital, I kind of want to go through a bit of what he is saying here, but he basically posted this earlier in the day yesterday that if we do reclaim 60,600, well, that would be definitely bullish and then we would head over to 65,000. Well, if we take a look at, you know, a price chart for Bitcoin, we are at 64,200, so we've definitely reclaimed the, the levels that he was talking about, and now we're headed towards this $65,000 level. We did just wick right below it. So again, a massive swing in Bitcoin and, of course, altcoins, but this is ultimately very bullish. And then if we take a look at the next, you know, analysis that he shares with us, he says week one in a cross channel ascent likely already underway provided Bitcoin continues to stay above 61,500 going into the next weekly candle close. And this is, of course, on a weekly basis. So the next weekly candle close is going to be tomorrow. As you guys are watching this, it's obviously on a Sunday. So keep an eye out on this. But this is, of course, the channel we've been talking about for the last months. I mean, this is going all the way back to March ever since we hit a peak in March. And if I bring you to, you know, our chart here, ever since we hit a peak in March, we have just kind of been in this channel and it's been ups, it's been downs and you know there's been some pretty big downs and some pretty big panic in the entire crypto space but where do we find ourselves again back in this channel and it's likely that Bitcoin is going to you know over the next few days or weeks I'm not saying this is going to happen overnight but we are likely going to you know go up here and try and break this resistance once again and if we do break it well we're probably heading back to these highs right around that 71,400 right around these highs here and then of course we'll have to wait and see what happens then but this is definitely some very good relief and very good news for the crypto markets and we're also back above this 100 day ema now on top of that as you guys know i am a big believer that the bull market the peak of it is going to be into 2025 usually it takes about 550 days with the history of the last two bull markets for bitcoin to reach a peak and that would put us in october 2025 whether it's a little before or a little after that is of course yet to be seen but i am still very very convinced that we are going to see history repeat itself now if we take a look at some other news 
that obviously benefits the crypto markets because we do have a US election right in November. And if we take a look at what has happened over the day today, well, we have that RFK Jr. or Bobby here is endorsing Donald Trump. And if we take a look at Kyle Chasse's tweet, he basically says here that RFK is absolutely tearing into DNC. That is the Democratic Convention. They've rigged the entire primary, weaponized lawfare to block any challenges, and paved the way for Biden and Kamala. He's endorsing Donald Trump, so obviously he's now dropped out of his own independent race and has backed Donald Trump. Donald Trump has publicly said, you know, thank you for that. But this is another piece of news that came out on a Friday. So, of course, the Fed kind of signaling that a rate cut is coming. Then we have this. So people are, you know, excited that, you know, maybe Donald Trump is going to get even more support now. But of course, we still have to wait for November and to see exactly what happens. Now, something you guys need to absolutely pay attention to is where we currently are in the market. Because yes, we've gone up 5% on Bitcoin over the last day. But we are still in this boring zone. Ever since March, where we had a peak you know, everything was going up. Everybody was super excited. Everyone was making money. But from March all the way to August, this is five months, almost going into six months of absolutely chaos and boredom. Nothing has happened. Altcoins have, of course, gone down. Bitcoin has just fluctuated. And if you bought at the peak of March, well, you're probably thinking to yourself, why did I buy there? But we are still in this boring zone and we may still very be there for the next couple of weeks but soon after if it starts after the first rate cut if it starts after the u.s presidential elections if it starts in december with you know the christmas rally we are eventually going to get a banana zone this banana zone has been happening every single other cycle we have one in 2012 we have one in 2018 we also have one in 2021. So this is what we are expecting in the next year or so. So be prepared for that. Of course, we're going to make videos on how to strategize, how to exit out of your positions. Because at the end of the day, if you are in the bull market in 2021 and you know you just kept on buying, buying, never sold. Well, you never really made any money. So we do have to take profits at some point in time. And another chart that I just recently shared, which speaks of volume to me. So I want to share it back again. If we take a look at where we are, we're in 2024. We are in this first bull cycle, if you will, you know, kind of in the first peak that we saw into March, then it consolidates and then it continues. Well, look at 2013, 2017, 2021. These are all of the explosion phases or the banana phases where things go absolutely parabolic. And look at this current cycle. We have 2022 complete bear market, 2023, you know, it was good in the end of the year and then 2024 great first six months or first three months actually then kind of just choppy very boring and then 2025 is where the magic happens of course i don't have a crystal ball but this is what history shows us so as i've said time and time again i've continued to dollar cost average in some of my positions during these heavy dips and i will continue to do that i don't expect and we are going to have these massive dips again unless we get a black swan event that could obviously shake up the markets once again but i am going to continue dollar cost averaging because things are not just going to go straight up yes everything is up you know five to forty percent in the matter of the last day but do keep in mind that things are going to cool off and we still have about a month left before the fomc meeting so things are likely to cool off before another run and again, we are still very early in this cycle, so you don't need to ape everything in just yet. Dollar cost average on these smaller dips, that is my plan. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button and let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite altcoin and which one 
has just dominated over the last few days. I am curious to find out. And of course, if you did enjoy, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the Discord. We have a free one. We have a VIP one. The links are in the description below, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.